Hi and hello. My name is Hakan Zel Can You Relate? And this message is brought to you by the platform of K Silver Christian Academy. And the purpose of this discussion, I'll call it a discussion, just a very short discussion, is to help you in understanding atmospheres. And our scriptural text that we'll be taking is Ezekiel chapter 1. All of Ezekiel chapter 1 talks about atmosphere. But one thing you need to note is that before you can get to understand many of the things I'll be talking about, it's imperative that you get to listen to um, spirit mental coding audio um, just to give you a foundational um, knowledge you know, so that many of the things you get to hear wouldn't be um, so um, far fetched. Okay? Now, understanding atmosphere is very important and you get to know its purpose. Um, as time goes on first things first before you can create atmosphere which is the goal of the reason for this teaching you must first understand it what does that mean it means that you must first understand about atmospheres before you can even create them okay and from the start of ezekiel we can see that it's all about atmospheric nomenclatures And it's all about experiences. The first chapter of Ezekiel started pretty much on a very fast-paced, thrilling sense. In a way, it's more of actions, you know. And it's quite interesting, I must confess. But beyond all the mysteries and all of the things shrouded in it, it's important for you to understand why what happened happened and how what happened happened. This is really when you begin to understand and learn the the protocols of understanding atmospheres. Usually, atmosphere is referred to as air, as expanse, as an arc, as a firmament, etc. There are lots of other um, terms that people use to describe what atmospheres are. Okay, now atmospheres have what we call membranes. Okay, some people call them the limit. And it's, um, it's boundaries. This gives its boundary the end of it. It's just like the membrane of a cell, you know, that limits them and as well as gives them form and boundary, just like blood cells. There is a membrane that tells you, okay, this is how far the cell goes. Now, I'll be listing three things initially. I think they go all the way to 11 things, but I'll start with the first one now this is a progression to help you in understanding about atmospheres and the goal is as i've said to help you to know how to create atmospheres yourself the first thing we got to encounter there was the heba river c-h-e-b-a-r it's heba river keba river um and the river obviously contains water now water is a figment of the lower atmosphere if you can recall in the book of Genesis, it talks about um, waters being separated from the waters. And some other part that talks about we have waters above and we have waters beneath. Okay. What this means is that we have a higher atmosphere and we have a lower atmosphere. You can get that reference from um, Genesis chapter 1 verse 6 to 7. So the first thing is the Keba River. It talks about the lower atmosphere because that's water. The second thing that unfolded to us was, worthy of note, it said that the heavens were opened. It means at a certain time, the heavens were closed. Okay, we need to know and we need to understand how this happens. It means that the membrane of the higher atmosphere, which connects with the heaven, was opened and there was a diffusion down from the higher heavens to the earth realm, which was visible for Ezekiel to see. But how did Ezekiel really get to see and experience all of these things? The third point I'm going to be mentioning to you simplifies it out. It says that the word of the Lord came to Ezekiel and also the hand of the Lord came upon him. Now these two things were the things that made it possible for Ezekiel to transact and to see and to pierce into and experience what was happening between both realms. This represents a transfer reality. Without that connection of the word and the hand of the Lord, 
it may be difficult to get what's happening across the realms. Ezekiel wouldn't really get to know what's happening. And what does that mean? It means that many of the times, lots of things are happening around us based on the atmosphere around us. But because we do not have a word for it, now that we have a hand or empowerment for it, we are um, oblivious of what's happening. The fourth thing that encountered us is there was a wearing. This was the first thing, physical thing that we began to see. A wearing from the north. That, um, um, that pointer, that north, is very important. We'll get to that um, sometime later. Now, wearing is constituted of air and earth. It's just like a tornado. There is air and there is earth particles in it. These are the constituents of the whirlwind. Also mentioned with that whirlwind were what we saw as great clouds. Now, great cloud talks about the waters above. Remember, we talked about waters above and waters beneath. We talked about the waters above and air. So the great cloud is a constituent of, is a combination rather, of waters above and air. You need to note these things down. Then there was fire and brightness which is fire and light. Then at the end of it, we got to understand that there was a coloration involved in it, which is um, amber, the amber color. We need to note these things. Now, all these whirlwinds, all the things mentioned in number four here, are constituents of an atmosphere. An atmosphere for what was mentioned in the next verse, you know, in, in the scripture. We also need to recall that atmospheres usually come before the seed. I'll make you understand that. Without an atmosphere, there is no life. It means that nothing can actually come to life. Nothing can be experienced if there is not an atmosphere. So that means for something bad to happen, a bad atmosphere must have been nurtured or created. And for something good to happen, you must have recreated the atmosphere to allow the good to happen. Okay. Now, we need to notice that all the things I've mentioned so far are in the earth membrane. That's where they happened. Okay. Because Ezekiel saw them on the earth. Now, the fifth thing is later on, some things permeated into the earth. They are called beings, and they were four in number. Now, without that particular atmosphere on earth, the beings would never have showed up. The wearing, you know, the coloring, the great clouds, and all of that. Because that was the atmosphere that enabled the beings to manifest themselves. Now, these beings themselves came with their own atmosphere. Okay, there was fire and there was lightning, you know, in verse 12 and 13 of Ezekiel chapter 1. We were, um, we, were, we were brought into speed with um, all of that. Now, these beings looked like or had the color of what we call burned brass. Color is very important. I'm going to talk about it later on. Okay. Number five, after that is, later on it was mentioned that the spirit, the spirit is a Hebrew word that means rock, R-U-A-C-H, and rock could also mean wind or breath. Now, it says that the rock controlled the beings. That means there's something that influences the beings. Now, wherever the rock goes, the beings follow to. So it means that there is a line of connection between the rock and the beings. But it doesn't stop there. The sixth thing worthy of note is that after these beings came, there was a product of their intersection with the earth realm. It produced what we knew to be a wheel. Okay, now the wheel had something that is very similar to the beans. The beans themselves had eyes all around their wings. And the wheel itself also had eyes all around it. The wheel also had a color. Its color, its burial. Please note color. Then there was the sequence. This rock moved the beans and the beans moved the wheel. Why? Because the spirit of the beans was in the wheel. So that means there is a connection between the rock and the beans, and there is a connection between the being and the wheel. Okay? They shared the same atmosphere and coding as a result. Number seven. Something of note was mentioned later on. It says that over the head of the beans, over the head of the beans. Now, this demarcated the membrane of the beans. It means the beans also had a limitation or definition, or boundary, okay? And therein, the atmosphere ended, or was had stopped around that point. 
it's important for us to notice that this atmosphere had a sound. Now, over the head of the beams, the atmosphere had a sound. The sound of a voice of Shaddai. Shaddai means the mighty, or El Shaddai means the almighty God, and the voice of speech. So we had sounds and we had voice. And we have the sound of a noise of the winds of the beams and the noise of the waters. So there are two different things making sounds now. We have the Shaddai making sounds. We have the wings of the beings making sound. And we have noise of water. Sound is also very important in the spirit realm. Sometimes even more significant in the spirit realm than in the physical realm. In verse 20 of Ezekiel chapter 1, it talks to us about the firmament. There's an atmosphere or expanse over the head of the beings. And the firmament or the atmosphere had a color also. It has the color of ice crystal. Now, this atmosphere also had a sound or a voice, just like the atmosphere that was over the head of the beings. So, sounds connect atmospheres. You notice that sounds were over the head of the beings and right into the atmosphere of the higher heavens, there is a sound. So, sound is a connecting force that allows things to permeate across atmospheres. Number nine. Above the atmosphere was a throne, and which had another color, sapphire. And above the color, above the throne, was someone that looked like a man that sat high above it. Now, it was also made us, we also made to understand that that person that looked like a man had an atmosphere around him on the sapphire throne. And there was a color also, amber, color with fire. And brightness. Remember, we talked about fire and brightness in the earth realm. Now, high in the atmosphere in the heavenly realm, we also had fire and earth and, and, and brightness. Now, this connected the man like being, just the same way the spirit was connected to the four beings and the beings control. So, there is a connection. We also must look out for that line of connection every time an atmosphere is being formed. And there's something that overwhelms everything the final thing is glory it says in the atmosphere of that man upon the throne there is glory as of the color there is coloration again color of the rainbow this is the highest form of color in purity and power we can have now the rainbow was the atmosphere around the man like being high in the cloud so there's a connection between what is on earth and what's in heaven high above even though they're not the same thing but they create a transportation, a communication between both realms. We had thrones in heaven and we had a wheel on earth. We had four beings coming to the earth and we had a being in the heavens. We have whirlwinds upon the earth and we have glory in heaven. We have sounds on the firmament beneath and we have sounds of the firmament above. There were colors, sounds and light in both atmosphere everything was made possible by the word and the hand of the lord that came upon ezekiel before the story even started this is a very important information about creating atmosphere but we will not talk about creating atmospheres today we just need to understand them what does that mean it means that you need to take time to listen to this again. And more importantly, listen as you read the book of Ezekiel chapter 1. This will help open up the scriptures to you. And the creation and understanding of atmospheres begin to open to you. Alright then. This is how much we can take on today's segment of understanding atmospheres. The next episode is going to be on creating atmosphere. And I will tell you and teach you how to intentionally and practically create an atmosphere around you. So the next time I hear from you or you hear from me, I'd always say this. May you always walk in the face of the Lord. And I'll end with this unleashing Soteria, Lambano Soteria. My name is Hakan Zelkani Mele. I'm the spirit mentalist and I wish you a happy life. Have a great day.